Okay, boys and girls, I want you to go to mountpilgrim.org, go look under ministries, and you'll find the Mount Pilgrim Children's Division. And that is where you'll find this coloring sheet for today's lesson. Because today we will hear about Jesus' resurrection. The word resurrection means to be raised to life. Now, we know that Jesus died on the cross and was buried in a tomb or a grave and then raised to life on the third day. What if, what if you had arrived at the tomb to find that Jesus was not there? What would you have done? What would you have thought? What would you have said? So here, this empty tomb drawing is going to help us to remember. We're, it's going to serve as our resurrection reminder. Remember, we don't say Easter. We say resurrection because that is what we celebrate. Today's lesson is He is Alive. It's April the 2nd, 2023, and this is spring lesson number five. You know where you are, you are in Miss Kathy's class, and M.O.G. and I are so happy to see you. Now our lesson, of course, comes from the New Testament, because when we talk about Christ, and remember to color this picture, we know that that he is in the second, in the New Testament, rather. It's about to say New, Second Testament. All right, the lesson scripture comes from Luke the 24th chapter, verses 1 through 12. Where else can you find this story? Hmm. Key verse, something to think about. Remember, you can email me or drop me a line, okay? Key verses, why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here. He has risen. Luke, the 24th chapter, the second part of verse 5, and the first part, A, of verse Six. I almost couldn't say that. Who could be saying this line, by the way? Why do you look for the living? Who do you think is saying that? And now we're going to bow our heads and close our eyes. It's prayer time. Father God, thank you for the gift of your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for your many angels put in place to protect teach, guide, and relay your messages. May we be reminded every day of your love and all that you do for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, let's see. From the source is where we're going next. Luke, the 24th chapter, verses 1 through 12. On the first day of the week, very early in the morning, the women took the spices they had prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were wondering about this, suddenly two men in clothes that gleamed like lightning stood beside them. In their fright, the women bowed with that down with their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here. He has risen. Remember how he told you while he was still with you in Galilee? The Son of Man must be delivered over to the hands of sinners, be crucified, and on the third day, be raised again. Then they remembered his words. When they came back from the tomb, they told all these things to the eleven and to all the others. It was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the others with them who told this to the apostles. But they did not believe the women because their words seemed to them like nonsense. Peter, however, got up and ran to the tomb. Bending over, 
he saw the strips of linen lying by themselves, and he went away, wondering to himself what had happened. The key verse, remember, is, why do you look for the living among the dead, he is not here. He is risen. And now from the source that we read, the NIV chapter um, version of the Bible, you know who said that, right? Our lesson talk story from our lesson book is called He is Alive. Today's Bible verses explain that the women took the spices they had prepared to the tomb early on the first day of the week. The first day of the week. Now, they, um, a, lot, a lot of people say that that was a Sunday. Some people try to cause controversy about it, but but it was the habit in those days or the tradition in those days for spices to be placed on the body of a loved one who was deceased or who had died. And that's what these women were doing. They were preparing the body for burial. Why didn't they do it a few days earlier? Well, because the Sabbath, there was the Sabbath, the Jewish Sabbath at that time, was on a Saturday, and the Sabbath began on a Friday evening. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but they did, they did not see Jesus' body when they went in. Suddenly, two men in clothes that beamed like lightning, oh, they were so bright, stood beside them. The women bowed down in fear. The man, the men said, why do you look for the living among the dead? Jesus is not here. Jesus has risen. Now, in the other gospel, these men were referred to as God's angels. God's angels came to tell the women that Christ was not there. Of course, angels send us messages and teach us things as well as protect us. And then they went on to say, remember, he told you the son of man must be handed over to sinners, be crucified, nailed to the cross, and on the third day be raised again. And then the ladies remembered his words. Hmm. Took the angels to jar that memory a little bit, huh? When Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary, the mother of James, and the other women came back from the tomb, they told the 11 disciples what had happened. But the disciples did not believe the women. Wait a minute. There are only 11 disciples. There are supposed to be 12, aren't there? Oh, yes. Remember Judas? Judas was the one that betrayed Christ. So he was no longer a disciple and you can tell me what happened to Judas as well okay you think you can remember all right and one of the reasons why they would not believe women I told you the status of women and children at that time last week or last yes last week I think we discussed that so you know you you weren't net you were more and even more of a second class citizen back then if you were a female and Jesus came to change that all too. Peter got up and ran to the tomb. There he saw the strips of linen lying by themselves. And he went away wondering what happened. Strips of linen. Hmm. Do you remember what linen is? Linen is a type of cloth. And in those days too, just like he was wrapped in swaddling cloth when he was born there's a uh, cloth wrapped around him as a as a body as well but they were there by themselves let's see questions 
On the first day of the week, what did the women find at Jesus' tomb? They found the stone rolled away. Jesus' body was not there. What surprised the women while they were standing there? Two men appeared in front of them. They said, why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here. He has risen. Who did the woman, who did the women tell when they left the tomb? The women told the 11 disciples and the others. When Peter got up and ran to the tomb, what did he find? He saw the strips of linen lying by themselves, and he went away, wondering to himself what happened. Now, also, when the women went back to the 11 disciples, they were in hiding because they thought that the Roman soldiers would capture them as well, and that the Jewish, the other Jewish people, the Jewish leaders, would have the same thing happened to them. So they were in hiding, but the women knew where they were. And some people describe the women not only as followers, but as disciples as well. Contemporary story and Ruby's lab. Believe it in your heart. The contemporary story for April 2nd. 2023. Kendall loved participating in the Resurrection Day play each year. Each time, he wanted to get a good part in the play. That meant he had to rehearse and practice his tryout part very hard. When he got to tryouts, Ms. Rhonda was working hard on the stage decorations. Kendall, are you ready for tryouts? I think that I am. I know all about the crucifixion of Jesus, and I have memorized my lines. Do you believe what you are acting out? It's not just good enough to know the story, or to memorize the lines. You must believe that Jesus is alive. So are you saying, it can't just be acting? I think you are on to something. Your acting lines need to be in your heart. Not only will that help your tryout, but also, it will help those in the audience believe that Jesus is alive. Do you believe that he is alive? Yes, I do. He is alive. What did Ms. Rhonda ask Kendall? She asked him if he believed what he was acting out. Why do you think Ms. Rhonda thought that it was important to talk to Kendall about this? Discuss your answer with your family and friends. The end. You can volunteer to be a cartoon voiceover actor for a future contemporary story cartoon. Email Ms. Kathy's class at mail.com for information. Exploring the story in Ruby's lab. Hello everyone, Ruby here. In today's lesson, Mary Magdalene and the other women had gone to the tomb of Jesus. When they arrived, they saw that Jesus had risen. They ran to tell the others. This is a story of amazement and wonder. When something is amazing, usually we want to tell someone about it. Here's your assignment. Think of a time when something was so amazing that you had to run and tell it. Share your experiences with the class. Or you can write to me and tell me about your experiences at P.O. Box 74514, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Or better still, you know what to do. Get on that email and email me at rubyredpanda at mail.com. A ruby red panda, ruby red panda, ruby red panda at mail dot com. Woo! Celebrate 
It's not Easter. It's Resurrection Day. All right, we're going to do the searching for where. Well, we're not going to do it. Uh, we're going to just look at this and see if you can find certain words in there. You're going to find the listed words, and here they are at the bottom of the page. Crucified, dead, Jesus, linen, Mary, Peter, risen, stone, tomb, and women. And I tell you what, after you're done with it, if you have your lesson book, uh, why don't you take a picture of it and send it to me and Miss Kathy's class at mail.com let's see what you find and if you have the same ones that i have okay on the next activity let's see we go to the special activity book look for lesson five and this is page 12 in that activity book and we're going to answer these questions we're going to do these together okay Today's lesson was about how Jesus had risen from the grave. For this activity, respond to each question by writing on the line next to the question, the letter of the picture that correctly answers the question. Number one reads, what did the women find rolled away from the tomb? Okay, let's look at the bottom and there's pictures. Let's see now. A looks like I don't know what A looks like actually. Like little oh, those are strips of linen cloth. And B is oh jars of spices. D is looks like Jesus. C is a big rock or stone. E is a sun with what is that? Oh, that's supposed to be sun. Day, okay, the word day, okay. So, what did the women find? Was it A, B, C, D, or E? All right, C, the stone. Number two, what did Peter see lying by themselves when he ran to the tomb? All right, A, because those are the strips of linen, linen cloth. Number three, on what day of the week did the one women go to the tomb? E, Sunday. Okay, what did the women take with them to the tomb? B, the spices. And five, who was missing from the tomb? That's D, Jesus, of course. Now, here's another thing that, oh, you can do this. Some of you can do this. You have a gift for this. If you don't draw, then sometimes you have a talent for mm, writing lyrics to songs. Today, we are reminded that Jesus Christ is alive. The women looking for Jesus saw an incredible sight, an empty tomb. Using the words below, write a poem, rap, or a song about the resurrection. Use at least three words from the word bank to help create your poem, rap, or song. Now here's the word bank. Apostle, alive, Jesus. Peter, rolled, he, stone, crucified, and tomb. Now, if your song is really good, you think you want to share it with us, send it to me at class at mail.com. Now, if you want to also, you can record yourself singing or doing your song, but be first before you turn it in make sure that you have your parents permission to do this okay but you can send that to me that would be so cool oh i can't wait to see nothing you can still send it to me and if you don't have permission or if you don't want it shown then i won't show but i'll just it'll just be between the two of us okay He is Alive is another activity 
from the activity book. Okay, miracles. Read each of the events below. Do you remember if these miracles happened in the Bible? Circle the ones that you believe happened and put an X through the ones that you think did not happen. Let's see, let me get a little pen over here. The Lord healed a woman with an issue of blood. Did this miracle happen? Okay. I believe this miracle happened. I'm going to circle it. Did you circle yours? The Lord healed a man with demons. Oh, that was just last week, wasn't it? Yeah, we, that was the story we read last week. The Lord healed a sick pet. Oh, no, that hasn't happened in the Bible. I mean, he performed so many, many miracles, and not all of them were written in the Bible because there were so many, but we didn't read about that. The Lord healed a blind man. Yeah, I remember him healing a blind man. There were a couple of blind men that could see once again. The Lord turned a man, oh, turned a frog into a man. Oh. No, I don't believe I read that any place. So I'm going to put an X on that. Did you put an X on yours too? The Lord fed thousands with two fish and five loaves of bread. Okay, yes. I remember reading about that. Yeah. Lesson review. Luke 24. The 24th chapter, verses 1 through 12, but our key verse is, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here. He has risen. Luke, the 24th chapter, verse 5b through 6a. Let's see. The two men in dazzling white garments are typically thought to be angels. This view is confirmed in Luke, the 24th chapter, verse 23. The women are called to remember verses 6 through 8, suggesting that they were coming to a fuller understanding of what Jesus had taught them. Oh, they were looking back and saying, oh, he told us this. This is what he meant. Oh, this, have you ever learned that before? Have that happened? Something that your parents told you some time ago. And then you see, oh, that's what they were talking about. Or sometimes your teacher, oh, that's what she was trying to, to show us. Now I see since this has happened, I remember what she said back then. In Luke's gospel, there is no command for the women to tell the other disciples. But it was their own initiative, their own instinct, their own idea to do so. Luke's story kind of suggests that there was a close relationship between the disciples and the women, whom we often think of as disciples in their own right. So boys and girls, this is the whole thing behind the good news. The good news, on well, this is what gospel means. The gospel means good news. And that good news is that Jesus, even though he was born and he died for us, he was resurrected. And he did this all for us to save us. And that is the good news. So, Oh, next week is, okay, this is Palm Sunday. What comes after Palm Sunday? Mm-hmm, you remember. Yes, but we don't say that E word, right? We say Resurrection Sunday. We love you. We want to see you next week. And God, you know the rest. God loves you too, and there's nothing that you can do about it. We hope to see you. Be sure to send on those those good drawings to us and those letters and um, let's see oh yes if you're watching us on YouTube be sure 
to click like and subscribe. Bye-bye, boys and girls.